Hello all, uh, we will be continuing the part two of fixing the imbalanced data set and this particular technique is by using oversampling. In my previous example, I've already shown about undersampling, but this time it will be with the base of uh, oversampling. Now, I've already explained what is oversampling, but just let me repeat. What will happen is that in oversampling, suppose I have a data set, I have an imbalanced data set which looks something like this. Suppose I have more points over here, right? more points over here and suppose I have some less number of points over here of one category right now you can see that suppose this is this particular points the total count is somewhere around 900 and this particular point the total count is 100 now in oversampling what we do is that we do not perform under sampling. we do not reduce the points instead what we do is that we now create a new data set which will look something like this and all the points will be all the these all points will be just replaced over here only it will be taken as how the count was over here but for these points what we do is that we still add some more points in that same point uh, i mean in the same dimension we try to increase the point now suppose it was one away we'll try to increase that number Suppose this is basically nine is to one, right? For every point, we'll try to increase nine times. You know, we'll create new nine points on that top of those points in me, which was actually present. And by this, now your ratio will be one is to one, or it will be approximately equal to one is to one. You know, so this is how you do oversampling. And here in oversampling, most of the problem statements you perform over sampling instead of doing under sampling and it is much more efficient than the under sampling because in under sampling we are losing some amount of data but in case of over sampling we are not right we are trying to create some more data onto it and we are trying to make this imbalanced data set trying to fix this imbalanced data set now we'll go ahead and see how we can do with the help of python code and as the library that I told you in the previous section, which is called as I am balanced, that, um, that particular library I'll be using. So to begin with, I'm going to use the same data set, which is my uh, uh, card, credit card. And this is from the Kaggle competition. I've taken this particular data set. I think everybody is familiar till here because in the transaction, let me just zoom in a little bit. So here it is, my transaction class distribution. You can see that I have more than 2,50,000 records that are normal transaction, but they are very less number of records that are like a fraud a fraud uh, transaction, okay? So now this is completely an imbalanced data set. We need to fix this. Now we are trying to fix this by using oversampling. And we are not losing any data. Instead, we are creating some more data, right? So in with, what I'll do, I'll just create one fraud variable where I'll pick all my fraud, uh, this fraud values all into this fraud variable, fraud records basically. Similarly, normal will be placed over here. Now you can see the shape over here. In fraud, I have 492,31. In normal, I have 284,315,31. Okay. Now, in the previous time, when I was doing undersampling, I used this particular library, which is called as near miss, and it is present inside imblearn.undersampling. Okay. But now I'm trying to use something called as smoke to me key. Okay. So smoke to make, okay. Smoke, smoke to make, sorry. Smoke to make is the library that is basically used in this. And this is basically a combination of both undersampling and oversampling. Okay. I'll try to use this smoke to make, okay. Smoke to make. And in this smoke to make, I give a random state value. And after that, I just do the same method like how I do it for undersampling. In the undersampling, you could see that I went over here, right? I just did, I, I just initialized near miss. I did fit underscore sample. Similarly, over here, I'll specify, I'll initialize mode uh, Tomek and I'll provide some random state. I'll just do fit underscore sample where my X and Y. So as soon as I do this, now these two variables that has been created over here, you can see that my x underscore res dot shape and y underscore res dot shape is now becoming 567, which is nothing but 5,67,562. Now, how come initially you had a records of around 2,84,000? Uh, how it has become 5,67,000? Imagine, guys. Now, over here, you can see that my 
my fraud data, right? My fraud data was somewhere around 492. But now if I want to create more additional points on top of that, I have to actually match this particular number. Now, when I'm going to add it, this two count will be equal, right? So this uh, 284,315 uh, will become double, you know? And when that is getting double, we will be getting the total count of 5,67,562. Now, you can check from this counter library saying that initially your Y dependent feature had how many, what was the shape of this? So here you can basically the count of values, okay, of zeros and ones of the categories that were present over here. For the zero, I had around 2,84,350 and one was around 492. Now you can see that the total count of zero and one have been equal. So this is just like 50% and 50%. And initially you can see that my one was basically having 492, right? So this many points has been more added. See, this 492 points has been added over here for zero and remaining this this number of points has been added over here. So if you add 2, 2,84,315 and 492, this is going to give you that many points. So you have actually created more additional points and made that imbalanced data set as unbalanced data set. There is also one more technique to handle imbalanced data set. Now here, I told you that you have to use dot combine, right? I am imb learn dot combine. But in this case, you will basically be using something called as from imb learn dot over underscore sampling. So you have something called as a random over sampler. So this particular library will help you to, uh, you know, create that particular, uh, I mean, fix the imbalanced data set with the help of fit ratio. Now, when I when when we say fit ratio, I mean when we say this ratio, right? When I'm talking about ratio, this basically means that suppose your your data is like um, you are having total number of ones as 500 and total number of zeros as 100. Okay. Now, suppose if you keep this ratio as 0.5, what will happen is that for zeros, which was initially 100, it will try to create 50 percent of the ones value. So, if one values was 500 then zeros will be additionally created more, more 150. That basically means the count will basically become 100 plus 150, which is 250. So what do I mean by that is that, suppose, consider that my Y value is, uh, in my Y value, which is my output value, I have ones as 500 and zeros as 100. Zeros as 100. So what will happen is that as soon as I apply random over sampler with ratio as 0.5, if I supply ratio as 0.5, what will happen is that it will go and see which is the maximum or the majority category. So it will go and see that one is the majority category. Then if I've given ratio as 0.5, what it will do, it will go and make this zero changes and it will add more 150 points so that 0.5 of 500 is nothing but 250. So this will 150 additional points will get added into this zero categories or new points will be created and the total count will now be 250 and that is how it is basically done. <clears throat> and when we add this now if I keep the ratio value as one that basically means if 500 is here the zeros new category will be more 400 will get added and the total count will become 500 here also 500 here also 500 that will be nothing but one is to one ratio and that is the power of random over sampler. Now let me just show you how uh, what we have done over here. So I have taken the ratio as equal to one. That basically means that again I should be getting this many number of records or more than that many number of records. So as soon as I do this and OS dot fit underscore sample, then this gets executed. Now now see this. Uh, here my reach, uh, x underscore train underscore reach uh, res dot shape. When I do, I am getting this particular count. Now see if I do point five, what will the change as 0.5 i'll execute it and i've executed it i'll see over here now see this shape now when i say 0.5 that has become the half of that particular uh, uh, x and y okay and when we do half of that that total count is basically included over here finally you can see over here I execute this initially my zeros was 284315 one number of ones were 492 now you see my total number of zeros are 284315, but ones are, since I've used ratio as 0.5, it has basically become the half of this particular value. So I have 142157. Similarly, we can also apply this ratio inside the uh, smooth tomek 
similarly like how we have done it for random sampler now this particular code is already uploaded in the github link guys uh, now once you do this once you convert a imbalanced data set into a balanced data set apply any machine learning algorithm and try to solve it by yourself it's pretty much simple the main thing is that you should know different techniques of handling imbalanced data set now two famous techniques are oversampling and downsampling i would prefer doing some oversampling and for that i prefer doing a random oversampler or you can also take smote from it okay so here was the video guys i hope you like this particular video make sure you subscribe the channel share with all your friends and keep supporting the channel guys i'm going to reach 5000 subscribers this is all because of your love uh i promise you all i'll be keep on, I'll, I'll keep on uploading better videos each and every day and i'll make sure you learn a lot from me from my experience that i have see you all in the next video have a great day and thank you